the active volcanoes in Mindanao. The Philippines is divided into three main areas, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Mindanao is the second largest island in the Philippines, it is found at the southern end of the archipelago. It is considered as the major breadbasket of the country, and also, home to at least 20 volcanoes. Out of the 24 active volcanoes in the Philippines, eight of these are located in this island. Let's start with Bud Daho. Bud Daho is an active cinder cone volcano situated in the province of Sulu, and one of the cinder cones that make up the island of Hulo. Although the volcano has not shown any signs of activity in the last hundred years and its last eruption was undetermined, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has included Bu Daho in their list of currently active volcanoes. Mount Hibok Hibok is the youngest volcano, and the only historically active one in Mindanao. Hibok Hibok is situated in the island province of Kumagan, at the northwest end of Mindanao. This stratovolcano is actually part of the four overlapping volcanoes and is the only active. It contains a crater and several lava domes. Its last eruption occurred in the 1950s, devastating coastal villages. 3. Mount Leonard Nyasef This stratovolcano is part of a volcanic complex situated in the province of Davao de Oro. It has a caldera that is partially filled by Lake Leonard. According to the Smithsonian Global Volcanism Program, Activity at the Leonard Range dates back to 1.1 million years. A dome building stage began about 290,000 years ago, producing a series of lava domes in the region surrounding Lake Leonard. A younger stage involved the eruption of some of its pyroclastic deposits, and the formation of the caldera about 6,000 to 1,800 years ago. Mount Makatoring, an active stratovolcano located in the province of Lanao del Sur. It is the central edifice in the Butig Mountains south of Lake Lanao that also includes a complex of volcanic cones and craters, stretching up to 15 kilometers. Although a dense cover of vegetation suggests Makatoring's long inactivity, the sulfuric activity of the volcano still continues. 5. Mount Matutum, located in the province of South Cotabato, this active stratovolcano is the highest point in the province reaching an elevation of 2,286 meters or around 7,500 feet. The summit of this symmetrical volcano is truncated by a well-preserved 320-meter-wide crater that is breached by three gorges and contains a 120-meter-deep, densely forested floor. Mount Muswan, also called Mount Kaolayo, is the active volcano in the province of Bukidnon. It is an isolated low grass-covered lava dome and tuff cone that rises above a flat farmland. Its last eruption was said to have occurred in 1867 based on FIVOLC's local active volcanoes archive. 7. Parker Volcano Parker Volcano is a low vegetated stratovolcano located in the province of South Cotabato. The steep sided stratovolcano is surrounded by extensive youthful pyroclastic flow deposits that suggest similarities to Mount Pinatubo in Luzon. The summit of Parker is topped by a 2.9-kilometer-wide caldera with steep-sided walls that rise 200 to 500 meters above Lake Holon. In 1641, a huge explosive eruption occurred around this volcano and caused darkness over the island of Mindanao. The massive eruption resulted in the formation of the summit caldera. Before we proceed to number 8, here are several volcanoes in Mindanao that are identified as potentially active by FIVOLCS. These volcanoes are morphologically young-looking but with no historical or analytical records of eruption. Like this video? If you do, consider subscribing for more upcoming videos like this. Number 8. Mount Regang Regang is a huge stratovolcano in the province of Lanao del Sur. It is considered to be the most active volcano in Mindanao, having been erupted more than eight times since 1765. A crater about 5 kilometers from the summit on the southwest flank towards nearby Latucan volcano is surrounded by mostly unvegetated volcanic material, including a lava flow extending 4 kilometers to the south, this is likely from its last eruption in 1916. Mount Regang is one of several dominantly basaltic volcanoes which are all part of the central Mindanao arc.